Welcome back to Excel with Mark and today what we're going to be looking at is how we can sort really easily data alphabetically and also a way of doing this as well is that we can sort numbers from lowest to highest really really easy as well. So you can see here that we have this little table and we have the names and we have some sports people down the left here and then on the right hand side we have the earnings for them particular people. Within this one thing that we need to look at is if with the data is that we don't have any gaps within this. Also we want to make sure that the top parts here for the titles are distinguishable from the rest of the data as this can cause issues when filtering. For example if we had Al if we say Alan Prost here for example was taken out then what we can do at this point is if we were to look at it by clicking into it and going up to data and then clicking onto one of the sorting filters we can see that as it works down it only sorts and filters that particular part up to the gap and the same for the bottom there we can see that it only sorts and filters that out there so if we just undo that quickly there and sort out that data we can see that we've gone back to the original list now so what we can do is click into the name part up here and in the data tab for the A to Z up at the top we can see that we have the sorting filters there clicking on the A to Z or the Z to A whichever way around you want to do it we can click there and we can see that it puts the list in alphabetical order for us nice and easy based on the first names again if we want to change that round and do it Z to A we can click into that and we can see that that changes it round really really easy for us a way that we can use this for numbers is again clicking up into the top title part and if we want to go from the lowest to the highest we can do the A to Z and we can see that it's filtered all the athletes down by what they've earned lowest to highest and then we can also do highest to lowest really fast there just by clicking the Z to A option. So hopefully this makes sense to you. Don't forget to check out that you don't have any blank spaces. Make sure that your titles are distinguishable. If this helps you in a way, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I will hopefully see you again soon for some more videos. Thanks for watching.